So this is our topic prime factorization. So this is very useful process in the study of algebra and in solving many problems. So it is used particularly in finding the greatest common factor of two or more expressions. Okay, let's have example. Show the prime factorization of 18, 30, and 54. Okay, this is 18. So, hanap tayo ng mga prime, uh, prime factorization of 18. Ibig sabihin, mga factor niya, 2 times 3. 2 times 3, that is 6 times 3. Okay, that is equal to 18. 2 times 3, 6 times 3, 18. Another one, si 30. Okay, 2 times 3 pa rin yan. 2 times 3 is 6. So, hanap tayo ng factor niya para magiging 30. So, 5. 2 times 3, 6 times 5 is 30. Okay, what about yung 54? Kita pa ba si 54? Okay, so 2 times 3. Pwede pa siya by, by 3. So, equal 6. So, times 3 equals 18. Kulang pa. So, nagdaga natin ng times 3. 2 times 3, 6 times 3, 18 times 3, 54. Okay? So, ngayon, kunin natin yung greatest common factor ng 2 or more expression. So, si 2, ito yung common nila, di ba? Common din yung 3. Di ba? So, therefore, yung greatest common factor is 2 times 3 or that is equal to 6. Okay? Okay, another example. Find the greatest common factor of 84 and 120. Okay? So, unahin muna natin si 84. So, ano yung mga factors niya? Or yung uh, prime factorization of 84. Of course, unahin natin si 2. So, tapos, times 2. 2, 2 times 2, 4. Di ba? So, times 3, 12. So, times, hanap tayo ng factor na para magiging 80, 84. 12 times 7. Okay, 7 is equal to 84. Okay, another one, si 120. Okay, si 120, of course, meron din yung 2 times 2 times 3 times, ilan na yan? 2 times 2, 4 times 3, 12 times 2, 24 times 5 equals 120. Okay, ngayon kunin natin yung kanilang greatest common factor or GCF. Greatest common factor. So, that is equal to 2 times si 2. 2. Common yan, di ba? Common din yan. Si 3. Dito, wala na. Hindi na sila common. Okay? Ngayon, yung greatest common factor niya is 2 times 2 times 3. Or, 2 times 2, 4 times 3 is equal to 12. So, ito yung common, uh, greatest common factor ng 84 and 120. Bye-bye.